hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to align image and text side by side using html and then css so this is actually going to be very responsive if you try resizing this and see this is actually going to be very very responsive i'm going to walk you through the process so remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial so this is actually going to be very very responsive depending on the device you are going to use is going to be responsive so let's jump into action and then see how we can create this okay so i'm going to open my fabric code editor and we'll need css and then html to do this so this is going to be my html file and what i'm going to do is that i'm basically going to clear this and then we'll do everything step by step so I'm going to delete my content so I'm just going to delete my content as for now and I've already linked my CSS I've linked my CSS to the header and then I've also give a title which is align image and then the image I'm going to use I have my image here I've created a folder for this project so this is a folder and then this is the image I'm going to use so this is the image I'm going to use so now let's jump into action and first create this now what we we'll do is uh, let me just close my image what we'll do is that we'll first create a container for everything. So we're going to create div So we are creating a div called container and within this div, what after creating our container, let's create another div and let's call this one text Okay, so within this text, we'll enter h2, h2 header and let's call this one align image side by side using html and and then css so this should be the title for our project aside that we'll create a paragraph after this so we are creating a paragraph and this paragraph let's generate a lorem text about 60 60 lorem text so you can use this shortcut to do that so let me just break this one down i'll just bring this down to be visible on my screen and that is it so we have everything set up but before that we need to enter or create a portion for our image within our container so i'll just create image over here and my image is right here so this is going to be image and this is jpeg so this is going to be my image and i'll just select this let me save this and then we'll load this in our browser so there's no formatting up to now so as you can see we have every text over here but our image is quite very huge and we are going to use css to basically align this so now we'll go to my css map already linked my css within the header so we'll go to our css and first we'll do some reset so I'm just going to reset my browser by saying margin. So my margin is going to be zero. My padding is also going to be zero. And I'm going to say border box. So I'm going to say box sizing. So box size is going to be border box. I'm just trying to reset my browser and finally I'm going to get a font okay, of area, a vertical and then sans serif. So this is basically the font I'm going to use and after that, let's reload this back in our browser. We will not see any major changes for less. We will not see any major changes for now but you can see if we align our text to fit onto our browser now let's try to resize let's resize our image so i'm going to bring my cursor down and then target my image and let's say max size so maximum weight so let me say maximum weight for my image i'm going to say 350 pills in order to resize my image so let me just resize my image so that we can see what exactly we are doing you can see my image is quite small now and then we can just base on this and then create our home page okay so let's go ahead and then format this let's target our body and 
the body is going to be displayed as flex so let's display our image our body as flex and then justify content the owner says center we are also going to align items at center and we're also going to assign main more height of 100 bh and finally for the background let's set a background color and i'm going to use aqua for now okay so we just going to save this within our browser and we're going to save this and reload it within our browser so you can see everything is now set now we'll go ahead and target our container let's target our container from there so we can just come down here and then target our container remember our container is a class so let's say container and we're going to give a margin let's assign a margin a margin of 100 pesos so a margin of 100 pesos that's going to be top bottom and auto is going to be left right and let's also assign a weight of 75% so I'm just going to reload this in my browser so we should have everything in the center okay so the next thing let's format our image let's add some functionality so let's just add float let's just float this to the left so the image is going to be at the left hand side of the text so we move the image to the left hand side so let's save this and reload this in the browser so we save this and then reload this in the browser so you can see we've moved the image to the left hand side of our text and we'll just add some border radius some few effects to that so i'm going to add a border radius of let's say 10 pixels and also border yes a normal border and i'm going to say two pixels solid oh, okay solid white to my image and finally if i save this if i save this you can see there's no space if i save this you can see i have my border but there's no space between the image and my text so i'm going to add some margin right to this so let's add margin right So add a margin right of about 20 pesos. So add a margin right of about 20 pesos to this. And that is it. Now what we're going to do next is to format our text. So we we'll target our text. We have our text over here. We created a class called text. So we we'll target our text first. And it's, a, it's also a class of text and we're going to target the h the h2 we are targeting the header we are targeting the h2 header within our text so we are targeting the h2 header and what i'm going to do is to give it a font size a font size of about 20 a font size of our and i'm going to give it a font size of about 50 pills so font size and i'm also going to give a pattern of five pesos okay i'm going to save this and then reload this in my browser okay as you can see we've improved on the size of our font and then i'm also going to improve on the size of my paragraph so what i'm going to do is to just copy this just copy this and then come down here and paste it we are not targeting the h2 but the paragraph and for the paragraph let's give a font size of about 20 22 pillows okay so you can see this is quite very amazing but i'm going to reduce my font size from 22 to 18 just reduce this a bit so I'm just going to reduce this to 18 and then save this. 
and i think this is far better now and that is basically what we want to do if you go ahead and resize this we should resize this now you can see this is going to be basically very responsive it's going to be responsive on mobile devices and also on larger screen so this is how to actually align text and images side by side using html and css like subscribe for more tutorials like this till i come your way again bye bye